the cemetery. Behind its discreet neighbourhood walls appears was one of the strange and last shelters of dreams and illusions, of that which is different and unknown, of that which is extraordinary and magic. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel uh, Grave Visitations here. So today I'm in Corkbeg Old Graveyard here in Whitegate, it's called the area in Cork. So I'm here today to find the ancestors of Princess Diana and they were the Roach family. So let's go and have a look for this monument. So let's go for a walk guys and I'll tell you a little bit of the story about the connection that Diana has here in Ireland, Princess Diana. So Diana's great great grandfather was Edmund Burke Roach and Edmund was the first Baron of Fermi and Lord Lieutenant of the County and City of Cork. Edmund was born in 1815 and was elected MP for Cork in 1837 when only just of age, of course. Much of his success was given to the fact that the young aristocrat of ancient lineage was a staunch supporter of Daniel O'Connell, Irish political leader. The fact that he was one of the handsomest men of his time certainly contributed to this popularity. The first Baron of Fermoy was succeeded by his eldest son and Diana's great granduncle Edward Fitz Edmund in 1880. Edward Fitz Edmund was succeeded by his younger brother James Boothby Burke Roach, Diana's great grandfather. James Roach married Diana's great grandmother Frances Work at Christ Church, New York, on the 22nd of September 1880. Frances Work was daughter of Franklin, a wealthy banker who, according to the 1880 New York census, held $100,000 in real estate and $20,000 in personal estate. James Boothby Burke Roach was elected to Westminster in 1896 as a candidate for Kerry East, even though he was divorced. When the divorce was highlighted during his election campaign, James declared he had not been served with divorce proceedings. So the fourth Barnes' eldest child, the Honourable Francis Ruth Burke Roach, married Edward John Spencer, Viscount Althorp at Westminster Abbey on the 1st of June 1954. Frances, born in 1936, was just 18 when she wed Edward, he being 12 years her senior. So guys, during the process of cleaning an area here, a mausoleum in the old graveyard, a local group got together here and unearthed some very historic plaques that are connected to Princess Diana and her Irish roots. So we'll go around and we'll have a look and find this very, very historical plaque connected to Princess Diana, as I was saying. So we'll just read some of these other graves that are here in the area. So this is a grave here of Sergeant William Cosgrove, VC, the Royal Munster Fusilier, 1936, at Queen Alexandra Military Hospital, Millbank, London, aged 46 years old. And you can see the little bust of Sergeant William Cosgrove there. So 
so let's go and walk around guys and I just told you a little bit about the story there and the connection with the the barns in Cork and Edmund Roach and the family connection so it's amazing to think that you have all this connection to the royal family here in County Cork in Ireland and Princess Diana. The Spencer family links with Castle Bar date back to 1760. Later, a judge, a great grandfather of Princess Diana, lived here. An ancestral home once stood on the edge of the town. A year ago, Princess Diana surprised and delighted Castle Bar when she sent a substantial check to the local Catscan Appeal Fund. So it's extremely kind of um, very windy today, weather's not great. So we're going to read, as I said, a couple of monuments here until I bring you around and show you the, the resting place of the Roach family and their connection to the royal family. This is a beautiful one here in memory of Edmund O'Loughlin who died in 1893, age 56. Fine big monument. So this is Cork Beg, it's known as the old graveyard and I'll just pan around and show you all those old graves there. And you can see some of them are overgrown and that's the way, you know, back in 2015, these people were cleaning around a mausoleum and a tree area. And just by chance, they unearthed these old plaques. And of course, one thing led to another and through ancestry, amazingly found out that the Roach family were actually related to the Spencers and Princess Diana. We have this old wrought iron one here as well, look at that. And a little gateway going in. So we'll go in and have a read of this. This is James Tate, who died in 1876, age 46 years old. So guys, let's go. We'll go back up through the old graveyard here on this windy day. And we'll bring the story a little closer. And there's the old church rune here. It's a beautiful old graveyard. And we'll bring this story a little closer and the connection with the beautiful lady herself, Princess Diana, who died tragically in that accident in Paris. So I'm going to go in and look in this area here. This is the old church. You can see there in the distance, the old ruins. So on my journey, I came across this area here and all the wall has fallen down here. So this would have been part of the mausoleum and I'm sure that they're in the process of fixing this up. But you can just see inside there, there's a number of plaques in that mausoleum vault area in there so it's not possible to go in that way so we'll go around and read a couple of those plaques 
This is James Cahill here, in memory of his son John, who died 1894. So I believe, guys, this is the entrance here into the vault of the famous Roach family and their connections with Princess Diana. So this is the vault area that was found by the locals that cleaned up all the area here. And it's still undergoing some work. So you can just see all the overgrowth. Now that overgrowth was probably up as high as that wall. And that plaque there was completely covered over with bushes and, you know, wild growth. But this, guys, is the vault of the Roach family, the barons who are connected to Princess Diana. So we'll just read this one here first. And it says, sacred to the memory of... Henry Hewitt O'Brien, JP, of Belmont, Queenstown, who departed this life on the 23rd of February, 1873, aged 66 years old. So Queenstown is now known as Hobie. Yeah, so Queenstown back in the day, you know, it's, all, it's known today as Cove in County Cork. Where the Titanic set from where the Titanic set sail from Cove. And uh, back in the day, Queenstown was known as Queenstown. Of course, it's connected to Queen Victoria. So it was called Queenstown, where the famous Titanic set sail from. And now the plaque that I'm going to show you now, here is what these locals found and the connection. So we have James Joseph Roach, Esquire JP, aged 53, placed to his cherished memory by his faithful wife and loving children, it says on it there. So there's that name, Joseph Roach, Esquire. And the connection to the Roach family. So there is a a crypt here, guys. You can see. There was stairs, actually. Yeah, one stage or another. There was stairs that went in here. So you can just see in here. This is the the old crypt, and there's some broken coffins there. And it's in a mess, to be honest with you, and it's not in good shape at all. You can just see there, guys, we have um, an awful lot of bones. Look at that. There's bones in there. I can see some cloth. And I'll just zoom in a bit to show you. You can just see there, look at that. All those bones and remains. Mm -hmm. And just over in the very far corner there to the right, there's three skulls. So it's... Um, a lot of broken timber and stuff in there. Broken old coffins and yes. timber. And you can see the coffins there. And there's actually a handle there. If I can focus it you can just see there to your left there's actually a handle of a coffin there so that was probably one of the coffins of the family that are there so that's it guys that's the final resting place of the roach family the famous roach family And their vault and those steps at one stage, I say, were beautiful looking to go down into that. And you have all the plaques just there. 
And of course that one I've read of the roach name. So it's, it is sad to see, you know, that it's in that state. And it's a shame really that's left like that but in one, in another way it's it's great that they found this area that was covered for years and it's part of history and nobody even knew it was here and they really cleaned out all that area and we can now read those famous names of the Roach family and the amazing connection to Princess Diana so rest in peace to all the Roach family. Right guys, so I'll end the video there at this very historic old graveyard here and the Royal Connections. So until the next time, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. The notification bell lets you know when I upload another video. So until then guys, take care, God bless, and I'll see you on the next adventure.